Welcome to the Graduate Research Forum for Fall 2021. My name is Lauren Hernandez, and I am a graduate research student in the Department of Organization, Workforce, and Leadership Studies at Texas State University. The title of my research study is Instructional Delivery Methods by K-12 Educators During COVID-19. Problem or need for study. Teachers faced new opportunities and obstacles within distance, hybrid, and transitional instruction due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This included challenges during the transition to the virtual classroom and returning back to the physical classroom. There were obstacles faced by both students and teachers during this time. The purpose of this study was to examine instructional delivery strategies by K-12 educators during COVID-19. The research questions that guided the study were, what strategies teachers used when moving to the online classroom? How COVID-19 has affected teaching strategies and student engagement? and the strategies used when transitioning back into the physical classroom. Research design and participants. This study used qualitative research methods. Participants included five public school teachers in Texas. Four of the participants were women aged 20 to 35 and one male aged 50 to 55. Table one presents participants and summarizes their characteristics, including gender, race and ethnicity, age, education level, and marital status. Methods. Data collection comprised field notes and interviews from teachers. Data analysis comprised thematic coding leading to major themes. Interviews were conducted and recorded via Zoom due to COVID restrictions. The recordings were transcribed and used for data collection and analysis. Due to teacher and student confidentiality, strict guidelines and protocols were followed. Major findings. Major themes included the initial transition to the virtual classroom, student engagement, and the transition back to the classroom. During COVID-19, teachers and students struggled with the initial transition to the virtual classroom and converting to a completely new online learning platform. In the current study, teachers and students transition to one or even multiple changing platforms before finding a permanent one. Since there were no protocols for this move at this time, many teachers were left to fend for themselves. Teachers independently learned how to use new virtual platforms while creating new curricul curriculum and also teaching this new system to the students. Student engagement in the virtual classroom presented challenges as well. Most students did not spend their time actively participating in the online classroom and a large amount of online curriculum was not being done. Many teachers could not assess student needs while virtually teaching and this led to students falling behind and created a stagnant learning environment. In the fall of 2020, students began returning back to the physical classrooms with COVID health and safety regulations. Elementary school children were to be at least three feet apart in classroom. The same guidance applies to middle and high school students unless they're in areas of high community transmission. While many teachers were supportive of the move back to the classroom and excited to return 
to a normal teaching experience. They did not anticipate the challenges that were faced due to social distancing regulations. Teachers commented on how these regulations created barriers to group lessons and made it more difficult to reach a large number of students at once. On top of the teaching adjustments, there was also an emotional adjustment to younger elementary students who did not engage or socialize with their friends. Implications and future research. The findings from this study offer implications for theory, practice, and policy and inform future research. For theory, the study adds an examination of the teaching methods and strategies used by teachers during the COVID-19 pandemic to the literature. This study found challenges faced by teachers during the transition to the virtual classroom, as well as back to the physical classroom and the difficulty with student engagement. This study also had limitations. The teachers interviewed were limited to the state of Texas and with K through 12 educators. In a new study, there could be more interviews with teachers from other states as well as college professors to see the effects on higher education. This study was also time sensitive in a rapidly changing environment. Many variables remain unknown during this time and teachers do not know what the learning environment will look like in the weeks to come. This study used qualitative methods to examine instructional delivery strategies by K-12 educators during COVID-19. Future studies using qualitative methods might include more areas of emotional and mental impacts of virtual learning. Future studies using quantitative methods might include teaching strategies used based on age ranges. Conclusion and action. Teaching during a pandemic challenged teachers in ways no one was prepared for. Districts across the nation scrambled to find the best methods for teachers and students to continue education in a safe environment. Constant obstacles faced during these transitions created a high level of stress for teachers. Challenges with technology and student engagement created a year of stagnant educational progress. Resilient teachers are in the face of adversity and their commitment to their students. This study showed how difficult it was for teachers to be solely responsible for navigating this change for their students while students were living in a constant state of disarray and fear. The study also highlighted how teachers overcame these hardships and showed the love and support they have for their students. Thank you for watching my video. Please feel free to like the study, post a comment, or ask any questions you may have.